Hey, what's up everyone? This is ShadowHP3 here, and I'm glad to be back after a long week off due to cruising the Western Caribbean. Um, had a great time, saw some uh, great sights, took some great pictures, and had a much needed break after having a stressful into the new year, and um, I'm glad to be back. So much I could talk about the cruise, but I'll save that maybe for my Twitter, Twitter feed. Um, and whatnot. In the meantime, let's get back to more of Let's Play Crash of the Titans. I believe we left off after defeating Engine in episode 13, and now we're going to start episode 14, Family Tree. I will warn you guys, I practiced this level time and time again, and I still cannot for the life of me episode 14. beat it. Although I have Family beaten it once. Tree. I say that I can't beat it, I have beaten it once. No, it's um, that was a long time ago, so you'll see why once we get down to uh, where we need to go, why I can't beat this level, or why I'm having trouble beating it anyways. But going forward, we'll uh, just worry about the easier parts at first. Let's grab the Voodoo Idol, hovering just above that platform right there, plain as day. And, let's see, I'm going to, I mean, there's really, at the moment, this is not going to be too huge of a beginning in terms of things to talk about. So I guess for, for now anyways, I'll go ahead and at least mention a little bit about what I did on my vacation. So, um, we started our cruise out, uh, you know, sailing out of Port Canaveral, Florida. And first place we stopped at was... We stopped at uh, Haiti, the Rue Labadee, and did some jet skiing there, which was a lot of fun. Then we went to Jamaica, got to go to Falmouth and tour the you know, old part of the uh, of the city. And I found out that I believe Usain Bolt's parents actually reside in Falmouth, which is pretty cool. And then we went to Grand Cayman, the largest island in the Cayman Islands and bought a couple of souvenirs there, and then we finally ended after going to Cozumel from Mexico and learning about the Mayan ruins, which was pretty cool. Um, so that's really brief as to what all we did. I might talk a little bit more later, or I'll show you guys through pictures um, down the road. Anyways, let's go ahead and play this mini game, or this bonus game called Trouble Underfoot. Pretty simple. You just have to destroy all the minions that come across, which these minions that you can see, these are new compared to the ones we've seen um, lately, the Doom Monkeys. I will discuss them once we actually see them in the actual level, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and take these guys out. I want to try to do so without taking out the objects around because it's a good valuable mojo to be had and I would uh, like to not let it go to waste if I can, so I'm trying to stay close to the middle here, but a little bit difficult to do so, but thankfully have a couple of objects left I can mash. This mission, of course, as you can tell, with the Scorporilla is not hard at all. Let's go ahead and take out this last cauldron here, which I'm not sure what is in there. I don't even want to know. We'll get the Mojo Idol, and we'll get out of here, and we'll proceed forward. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, new minions coming up right now. These are Voodoo Bunnies. They are the most dangerous yet of all the minions we've seen, even more dangerous than the Doom Monkeys in my opinion. One, because they can attack you from a fairly good distance with their spears, and they can also summon rain clouds and shock you. I'm going to try to get these guys all together if I can and not let them damage each other. I'm going to also try to get a combo here, although I've gotten hit a couple of times, so I don't think I'm going to get it, fortunately, because the combo king for this level is 35. Yeah. It's going to be tough. I figured it was going to be tough trying to get it at that time, but yeah. The Combo King is 35 for this level, so I'll have a couple more chances, of course. Thankfully, that's not the only one, but in the meantime, as far as the Voodoo Bunnies goes, these guys are tough, I think, for me, because when you go to it, when you approach them, you go to attack them, they easily, like, can sense you're coming, and they, like, back away like you just saw right there. And so... It makes it much more difficult to try to take them out. I don't think the uh, Ratnitians... The Ratnitians certainly didn't do that. 
Uh, you know, no, I was gonna board across there. Let's just walk across, just because it seems more natural. But yeah, the rat missions didn't, you know, show any signs of defending themselves. Um, the Kuwalas didn't, to my knowledge, and then the Doom Monkeys didn't either. Not so much. I mean, each minion, as you know, gets tougher as we progress through this game, but I think the Voodoo Bunnies so far have been the ones that have been the most dangerous. But, so we'll have to deal with these guys for the next um, several levels or so. I'm not sure why I'm doing light attacks, especially since I can't even get a Combo King. In the meantime, let's call up what I feel like these are... Hold on a second. I almost crawled up jumped the wrong way. Cost myself some health. But uh, if you guys look at the uh, platforms, it almost looks like we're calling on the back of a spinal coin of a, of a dinosaur of some kind. That's at least that's what I get out of it, which I think is pretty cool. So once we get to the close to the top of the steps, we'll encounter a new titan. Um, I think this is the final main titan of this game, if I'm not mistaken. No, actually, we have one more Titan. I forgot. We do have one more Titan. But no, these guys... I hate these guys. And I'm not going to have much time to talk about them because I'm going to be so busy trying to concentrate, trying to establish myself in this area. So let me try to see if I can get control of this area for a moment, and then I will talk about the Titans themselves. If I can avoid it. Or at least get one of them by themselves. Alright. I think I'm in good shape here. Okay. So yeah, this is the Battler. Um, probably my by far the most dangerous Titan I have yet to meet in this game. It has a fierce roar, by the way. Let's take a look at its attacks real fast. It has a bat slash combo, which is three hits. Um, key thing to note here is that you have to press two different buttons, um, X and Y, in order to be able to execute it. So don't be mashing the X button right away, otherwise you only get one hit. And then the Cyclone Storm, which you all saw, requires time. You have to make sure you have a safe distance away from all the other battlers that will be lurking as we progress through this level and going forward. And you unleash a wild cyclone and you'll pretty much stun or take out any battlers. And it's key that you um, make sure you give yourself enough distance to try to walk around. Or if you know a battler is about to use it and you have a battler jack, try to go ahead and try to try to take it out before it can get it off. Because if if it does get it off, in all likelihood, you're going to lose your battler, and then you're in big trouble. And I say that confidently that, um, in that I won't have that same kind of trouble, but when you've recorded, or tried recording this level as much as I have, then you don't take anything for granted, that's for sure. So now, of course, as you can see, we can't progress until after we get past this area with, um, all these minions and titans here. The Voodoo Buddies, they do, they're doing damage, but of course they don't have any kind of knockback whatsoever. In fact, I'm letting them take themselves out with their rain clouds. But of course, as you can see, after they go down, we don't have much left, but we do have a couple more Battlers and Voodoo Bunnies to deal with, so be careful. And as you can see, one's right there readying a Cyclone. There's another one readying a Cyclone. You guys both get away. I'm going to try to... I went to doing the Cyclone at first, and then I decided to hold up once that battle got near me. Oh, another thing to note here, I didn't say, but they have a hang gliding move or hover move similar to the Ma Magma Dons, where if you hold the Y button, you can charge up, um, hold them up in, in the air, let them hover in the air, you can charge them up, and they'll, uh, after a while, do a fully charged attack, and that does a lot of damage, and is one of the key attacks that I think is useful for quickly stunning. A, um, a battler or any uh, titan for that kind. So now, normally in this area, we would have get rid of the battler and use the. Uh, um, I would normally use the <laughs> and use the ledges right here, which I'm forced to now. But uh, what I was going to say is, you could use the battler to, if you um, face just the right angle, you could just fly right over the acidic areas right there. But since I tried to uh, detonate that mine, I didn't get a chance to use it only once. That's okay. Not the most important thing in the in a way. Let's try to get this battle with no problems. I have to say, right now, I should 
probably not mention this, although I'm not one to be superstitious. I am doing very well compared to the last couple of times I've tried to record this level. I think this is the best I've done yet. I have yet to die. And I'm going to be cautiously optimistic going forward because we still have another area where we have to deal with a bunch of battlers. And of course I won't be looking forward to that even any, any more than the one that we had before. I think this first one, well I'll talk about it once we get there, but for now we'll take out these minions. About 25 more minions to go before we can get the minion master. And normally sometimes when I've um, taken out that uh, mojo container I've been rewarded with an extra life, but I didn't in that case. So now we'll jump across these bouncy, springy pads, which look like lily pads, giant lily pads, but I don't think lilies grow on trees, if I'm not mistaken, so I don't think they could be that, but as you can see, we're getting a great view of this tree that we walked across, and then of course I slip up. But that's okay, I've got health left. I am still doing very well compared to where I've been, but I say that with cautious cautiously, you know, right now just because I know it's coming up ahead and it's not going to be fun, but we'll deal with it once we get there. So once we get to the end here, we'll encounter another area where there are, um, I believe, three voodoo bunnies and it is possible to get a combo king, a 35 hit combo. These if you play your cards right and you get them in a position where they don't hurt each other, although that might be big, we'll see. I'll try to not get hit, it's going to be tough. I got 10 more hits left to go. Come on. Oh, I'm going to fall short by 6 hits. Okay, it is possible to get a 35 hit combo there, but I just did not quite do it that time. So, I have one more chance to get it, but for now, let's go ahead and walk across, or not walk, because we walk and just completely fall off the tree and fall to our impending doom only to spawn back later, just like right now. I should really not talk about falling off more often. Just because it seems like whenever I do so, I end up falling off. But, and, oh my... Ugh. That's a fun way to lose your first life on this level. Alright, so let's try this again without falling off. Especially now that we're getting to the very final section of this level. Which, as you can see here... There are more battlers, and I'm going to have to deal with them all in a more tighter space. And so now, with the Free Jack Mask, I'm going to try to attack. We saw there's, there's, uh, there was those spy bots right there. I'm going to try to get myself in a position where I can use a Cyclone, and I'm going to fail miserably. And now I put myself in a tough spot where I cannot get hit, and i got to move really bad. This is where... Yeah, you only get one free jack mask, and if you happen to lose a battler at any time, more often times than not, you're going to be in big trouble. And as is the case right here. So I'm going to be in big trouble going forward because there's not much room to root move here, and there's five battlers to deal with. And unless I can get one of them in a corner all by himself, I am not going to have a chance. I am not going to stand a chance at getting out of this unscathed. Look at this. They just gang up on you in a hurry. There's like no room to to move whatsoever. This is insane. I do not know how I'm going to get out of this mess. How am I going to get out of this mess? So I try to get one in the corner and try to get one to back off, but when I do, then another's going to use the cyclone. It's, it's so frustrating. Just if I can... There you go, I think here's my chance. I think I had a chance. There are, you can create an opportunity if you are smart. Now I'm going to try to do this and see if I can get control of this area right now before anything crazy happens. I'll jack this battler. Okay, this is where things get really, really crazy. Okay, I'm going to try to use the charge. Start a couple at a time here. That move is really, really useful. I highly recommend using that move. If you get a chance, Give yourself enough space, and you'll be able to take out a couple of battlers before they have a chance to attack. And you can easily stun a battler with just two hits if you have a fully charged hang gliding move. 
And I think I'm in a much better position going forward here. So we'll jack these final two battlers. And uh, we'll clear the way. Although, as you guys know, we still have plenty more minions left to take out. And we still have to get the combo king. So I'm going to dismantle off of this battler and try to get a 35 hit combo based on what I have. And I think I can get it right here. All right. Get out of there. Boom. All right. So now all I have to do is try to find... See if I can get at least 20 more minions taken out, and then I can leave this level with only one death in hand. And I think more minions will spawn if you hang around here, so let's hang around here and hope that uh, that's the case. But we are pretty much done, with the exception of getting the Minion Master, so all I just need to do is try to take out 15 more minions, and we will be in good shape. But as you can see here, there is plenty of opportunities to get a 35 hit combo if you have not done so already. And especially when there's more room to run around and even more so when you have a longer spin combo to work with without, you know, getting yourself busy. You're going to be in a better position to get it. Let's see, so we need 10 more, 10 more Voodoo Bunnies. I think we can get him here with the next wave. We probably won't get him with this wave of Voodoo Bunnies, but I think we'll have one more wave after that. And we should be able to get the Minion Master and then we'll get the gold on the ladder for this level and be done. And I keep spending myself recklessly, although I'm not really paying the price for it that much. Alright, four more Voodoo Bunnies. Four more. And yeah, we will get it here with this. I believe this is the final wave, but... We'll just go ahead and take care of these guys and then we'll end the level. And... I can finally look back on all the fail failed moments I had trying to record this this level and then laugh. Alright, so we got 55, so our Minion Master's done. Now really at this point the only thing I want to hang around for is just collect any mojo. But I think this is like I said, the final wave of Voodoo Bunnies to hit here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is, let's see. Yeah, thankfully, yep, that was the last wave, so if you have not gotten 55, Voodoo Bunny's taken out by then, and you obviously sped through the level. Shame on you. So with that said, let's go ahead and clear the level, and be done. And I love how I, if I have no failures, I can get through a recording in about less than 20 minutes, but if I fail even once or end up getting a game over, then I'm almost looking at 25 to 30 minutes of recording time, depending on how many game overs I get. Could be more, but thankfully that's not the case. So that was what I was trying to do before I left on the cruise, was trying to get that successful run by, like that, because I've, I've practiced the first two levels, you know, or at least episodes 13 and 14, I mean, but I just could not get past episode 14 for the life of me when it mattered most. Oh, the supposed Let's Play curse showing itself again. So before we end this episode, you know what we have to do since we encountered a new minion and a new titan. Let's view the information for both. We'll start with the Voodoo, Voodoo Bunny first. The Voodoo Bunnies. Whatever you do, Crash, don't feed them carrots after midnight or get them wet. Trust me on that one. Do I even want to know what happens if you get Voodoo Bunnies? Uh, no. No, I don't. I honestly don't. Let's see what they have to say about this home wrecker of a titan and a battler. The battler. Kung Fu razor claw combos and the power of explosive wind. Hmm, something funny about that last sentence. That is something funny. Something I didn't think about, but I don't get paid to think about these kinds of thoughts. And for that matter, neither does Akiwaku. I will have to say that. I wish they could have said something, or maybe made an allusion to Naruto if they could, where you could say that the explosive razor wind of a battler will cut anything to, to ribbons, or it slices and dices and has the capability of cutting Julian Price or something like that in his rival now. I'm just rambling on at this point. So that's it. We will um, go ahead and I'll end this episode here, and... Um, breathe the sigh of relief that I'm finally done, at least with episode 13 or 14, anyways. And we'll kick it off with episode 15 in the next episode. 
in. I wonder how many times I've said episode in this uh, video alone. I'll have to tally and make a note of that when I'm recording or when I edit this video. But for now, um, I'll end it right here. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe, leave me comments, let me know what you think. Good or bad, I appreciate all comments. And until next time, this is Shadow HB3 signing out. Glad to be back once again, guys. I'll see you next time. All right, stay perky.